When you bundle Paramount Plus with Showtime, things can get a little wild. We live in a fast world. What a shot! Ah! Hell yeah! Stream it all in one place. Bundle Paramount Plus with Showtime. What up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? We appreciate everybody for coming out tonight. Q. Uh, those, the VIP, that, that, that paid to come in, and then everyone who just showed up. Uh, I know how much this our, our guest means to this city. That's why it was important for me to get him out here. I mean, I've been working the Kings for the last two years, and I still see 55 everywhere. So it's only right to bring... One of the originators out here, man. Yeah. 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 Well, again, man, thank you guys for coming. All the Smoke Live show. If you got a drink, let's hold it up real quick and get a, get a community cheers to everybody. Yeah. And we get this shit going, man. Cheers. Appreciate cheers, you guys coming man. out. Cheers, man. All your pain be champagne. Yeah. Jaden, you better be drinking water back there, boy. I'm watching you. Yeah. We're, I say, let, me, let me say this before we start, too. This is a guest on our show, but this is our brother. So I'm going to be kind of an asshole because I didn't, play with, I didn't get a chance to play with him. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to. He's somebody I look up to, one of the best passers, players, point guards in the game. But I've spent some time with him, but we didn't get a chance to talk much. So I got a lot of questions as a fan for my brother today. So stay tuned. <laughs> I got a chance to play with him, and the only thing he don't like is you coming up to him while he's eating and trying to touch his hands. <laughs> Jay don't play that. <laughs> All right, man. Well, this is just another live episode of All the Smoke. This is our what? This is our second or third? Third. Third live episode. We've had Magic Johnson. Who else? We've had. Uh, no, it's our second, right? Second. Yeah. Us. Magic. Oh, KG. KG was the originator. Yeah, we did KG back at All Star uh, 17. Yeah. 18 maybe in Chicago. Then we have Magic Johnson around Christmas. Yep. Now we got Bubs. Man. Well, let's get this shit started, man. Yeah. Well, he doesn't really need an introduction, but we're going to introduce him anyway, man. Welcome to the show, Jason Williams. That's yours, bro. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, tell us what it feels like. You came in last night, did a little bit, got a chance to see the game. Uh, you were there when Arco was rocking. Three straight playoff appearances uh, from your rookie year to your third year. What's it like to be back in sack? Honestly, bro, I think it was, it was more rocking last night than it was. When really? We yeah, it was bro. crazy last for night, sure. wasn't it? Yeah. It was rocking last night. Yeah, it, um, for sure. And the wind definitely helped. Yeah. But... Nah, they might be a little bit better than we were, too, back you, in the day. You think so? The, yeah. the team or the, the fans? Both. Really? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Well, let's get to them, man. I mean, talk, talk about that team. It was you. It was Webb. It was Vladi, uh, Bobby, Doug. Asia? Yeah. Asia was there. Um, Hito early. He, yeah, that was a young Hito, right? He, you guys came in the same – he came in after you, right? After me, yeah. Okay. Well, talk about that team and what kind of fun. I mean, Webb used to tell me stories about you hiding under the bus on the way back from the airport. Like, Jay was the jokester. But t tell us about off the court and then obviously how that translated on the court. Shit. Hiding. I wasn't hiding nothing. They put me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding. So, so they put you on the, underneath the bus where the, where the, where the luggage goes. From I'm, from the airport to the back to the practice facility. Look, bro, it was in Boston. We get off the plane and the snow was high as them barrels, bro, on the runway, right? Uh huh. I, not only did I have to ride, I had to put the bags in there first, <laughs> and then get in there with the bus. You put yourself in there? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about where's Jay Will? Jay Will? Oh, Jay Will's coming. He's straight. <laughs> Cold in a mug under there, dog. <laughs> but what was that? Obviously, you guys had a lot of fun off the court. But what was that team like? On the court. I mean, again, you guys brought so much excitement, the connection that you and Webb had. But talk about that team and just in general. 
Bro, it was it was fun just because we we did stuff like that off the court, and I, I think that makes you a better team when, especially when the pressures when the pressures on. Um, uh -huh. Just just trusting one another and trusting the coach. The coach let us get away with a lot of stuff like that too. So so that made it a lot easier on everybody mm -hmm. too. Bell I'm, West. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about these questions. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Bell West Virginia, one thousand people in your hometown. Everybody can probably. Uh, tell me. <laughs> Tell me about your hometown and the birth of white chocolate. Bro, well, you pretty much just told everybody about it, bro. <laughs> 1,000 people, whatever, but, you know, it wasn't much going on, man. Where I'm from, it's like the white folks live right here, and then the high school, and then the black folks. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I spend most of my time on the backside of the I high can, school. I can tell. Duh, duh, I can tell. duh. Uh, I can tell. <laughs> Hence the name. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but at the same time, bro, I had, I had fun on the other side, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... It was. It, it is what it is, man. And back then, when I was growing up, I thought it was the greatest thing in the world, you know, Bell, West Virginia. But looking back now, bro, going back there, there's not much there. Um, it is what it is, bro. Well, a compliment I can give to you is you are the best of both worlds, bro. You are the best of both worlds. If, if we had to find somebody to come from both cultures that represented the right way, it would be you, dog. I appreciate yes, that. Appreciate that. Thank you. So when we talk about bags, we talk about your game. The different moves you have in your game, the passes, the handles, the, you know, the different aspects, the different excitement you can bring to the game. A lot of superstars that come along that we talk about, top 10, top 20 players, a lot of them didn't have bags. They were stars that had games, but they didn't have too much in their bag. We consider you one of the people that have the ultimate bag. Mm. How did that start? Where did that, come, where did that start at? Bro, I had great teammates, bro. You know, I think I had a big bag, but duffel. It's like... You know, when I reached in that bag, I had teammates that helped me, helped me, helped me. Made you look good. For sure, bro. Like, they caught a lot of bad passes and finished them jumps, too, you know. So, so you know, I got, I got a, lot, a lot of complaints about turning the ball over and shit like that. It would have been a lot more if them dudes wasn't, wasn't good enough to catch them jumps. <laughs> but where'd that, where, where'd that style of play for you come? Because, I mean, there's only been, you could probably name five guys on your hand in the history of the game to really have the kind of flair and, and imagination that you have. But when did, when did that start? Junior high, before, high school? See Webb had, Web had some big hands. Yeah, he catch anything. Yeah. yeah. On um, them barrels. I'm thinking... Bro, as soon as I started playing, it was like I was so much smaller than everybody when I used to hoop, especially on the playground. Um, I couldn't get the shot off, so I had to I had to find ways to get picked up, bro. If you mm -hmm. lost, you had to sit out. Well, I'm thinking if I'm losing, I'm trying to get picked up right away because I'm passing you the ball. You're getting all the shots, right? Wow. And it worked. So, uh, but I'm, when I worked out on my own, though, I I was on my own, right? You know, I think kids nowadays um, lose a lot of their imagination, bro, because they're with a trainer all day, telling them what to do. For 15 minutes, we're going to do this. In 15 minutes, I'm in the gym, like, by myself, bro, like, beating presses, gutting across half court, picking the ball up. Now I'm getting trapped. I'm trying all kind of crazy-ass pivots and shit like that just mm -hmm. because I know I'm going to get stuck in the game one time, and mm -hmm. I might need that crazy-ass pivot. They're not teaching them crazy-ass pivots nowadays, but um, there ain't nobody doing what I did either <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> what, where did the style come from, though? Like, you know, the sub, the, they say the South has a style, the West Coast has a style, East Coast. How did how did you create your style of basketball? Because it ain't, it ain't no, it's not a rucker style. You brought that style to the NBA. Everybody can do that. Bro, y'all quit, quit sleeping on Bell, bro. It's a Bell style. <laughs> Bell, style. Bell, one thousand of us. Yeah. 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 One thousand of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so so one thousand people know what you're talking about. Of course they do. Okay. And they all understand what I say all the time too. Yeah. <laughs> So speaking of that, Randy Moss. You play high school ball with Randy Moss. I'm pretty imagine, sure y'all and both of y'all talk alike. I don't understand either one of y'all sometimes. But how was it like playing with one of the best receivers to ever play in the NFL on a basketball court? I'm gonna take it a step further than not just the best receiver. To me, he's the best. I played with a lot of good athletes. Mm -hmm. Bruh's the best athlete I've ever been around. Mm. I mean, when I Sorry, talk about Randy athletes, Moss. I'm thinking like, can he hoop? Can he throw a baseball? Can he sprint faster than you? Can he jump higher than you? Can he throw a fishing rod further than you? All that, bro. Skip a rock. He do everything. He going to beat all y'all. <laughs> he going to beat all y'all. Yeah. I, well, I mean, that's that. Randy Moss is definitely one of the best. But how was it playing basketball with him? It was good. You know, he was player of the year in basketball our years. And uh, I was player of the year in football one year. He was player of the year in basketball. But that's crazy. I wasn't what position did you play in football? Quarterback. Okay, you were still, yeah, still throwing I, that thing. But I wasn't trying to get hit or nothing like that. Yeah, you I'm didn't like straight that. Straight out of bounds. Yeah. 
<laughs> too, you ain't too, putting your head down on nobody? Too fragile, bro. <laughs> Keep them pads clean. Yeah. And then our coach had uh, Randy Mar We had a punt return called Jesse James. Blitz 10 guys. Got one guy back. I'm the guy back, right? <laughs> Every time, because you know I had good hands, I'm gonna catch it. Run straight to the coach to get the play for the next time. One time I tried to cut the bitch up up the sideline, clipped me, I landed on the ball, knocked the air out of me. I'm laying there, coach is like that. I'm like, look, bro, you got Randy Moss on your team. You got me returning these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> How cold was he? I mean, make it make sense, right? I mean, we get a chance to see highlights of uh, of you guys in high school, and you just throwing it up there. But I, I don't really see much of him in, in, in from fo a football standpoint in high school. What was he like as a receiver? I couldn't imagine what kind of cheat code that was. I was I mean, he was a uh, receiver. He, he played. He never came off the field. He kicked off. <laughs> he 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 was play free safety. Um, then he would receive, and then we'd kick the extra points. <laughs> and then and then if if we had to punt. But he was punting the bitch, too. <laughs> like, I swear, I swear he'd be an uh, all-star, uh, all-NFL punter if he wanted to be. Really? I ain't lying. Kick, right kick now, this. today, bro. Yeah. Still. Today. You guys still stay in contact? Uh, a little bit. And he likes to fish, bro. I don't get down with the fish. Bro. Okay. You don't play with him? Yeah. No. Nah, That's I'm not good. you. I ain't touching no fish or no worms or nothing like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. He's big on fish. Uh, so you were drafted during the lockout in uh, 90, 99. Uh, when you first got to the Kings, what was your initial thought? You went from you know, a small town, college, coming to Sacramento. Any expectations, uh, you know, first impression of teammates? Um, man, it was great for me, you know, coming from Bell with all thousand of us. There's a lot more out here, bro. Cheers, hey, cheers uh, to Bell, all yeah, thousand of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but it was straight, man. I was just, I was kind of worried about C. Webb, whatever his situation was. I didn't know no better, you know, so I was just happy to be in the league, man, hooping and and trying to get the first pickup game mm -hmm. with Lawrence Funderburg drinking some sea salt water. Lawrence Funderburg, I just said yeah. that. Lawrence Funderburg, I remember that name. Hey, but Jay used to play, I, I seen one, I don't know if this is an every time thing, but I was still in high school, either in college, and I came up there and fuck a web one day, but Jay, did you used to play with no socks on your, in your shoes? He had no socks and just shorts, that's it, right? Bro, that's that bell shit, bro. That's all you needed. <laughs> But no, he didn't. I mean, you see people with all kinds of shit today. Jay had sh shoes on, no socks, and shorts. And that's I, all he needed. That's probably why my feet's fucked up today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but speaking of feet, he got these Florida Five Jordans on. Y'all better stop on, playing. Though. I got to get a picture of them. You got to give a shout out to them Gators. Florida Five Gators on right now. Stop hey. it. We didn't get a chance to talk about college. What was, it, what was your experience like? You know, obviously you went from uh, Florida and you moved on, but what was that first Florida experience like for you? Florida was, was, was dope, bro. It was like, I'm, like I said, I'm from Bell, little old town, and I go to Gainesville. Gainesville's not much bigger than Bell, but it's a little bit bigger, and it's the first time I've been away from home, and I got a little bit of trouble down there, but um, I did my thing, did what I had shit to do. Shit happens. Yeah, that's what it is. We all been in a little bit of yeah, trouble. Shit happens. Yeah. Trouble. <laughs> you fit in. Right. <laughs> uh, but, but everything worked out, bro. It was the mm -hmm. best thing. I wouldn't change nothing, bro. I love it. Right. So you get to the Kings. You guys go on a, you know, three straight years. You make the playoffs your first three years. What was it like kind of getting, to, getting your footing in the NBA? I think, I, I think it was a blessing in disguise that my first year with that lockout year. So we got only played 50 games, mm -hmm. and we would play back to back to back. You know, and we didn't have to come east, but like maybe one time. Um, so I think that was cool getting it over with quick. I didn't really hit that rookie wall like all of us do. Uh, but, again, my teammates were great. My coaching staff was great. And we really didn't have a backup point guard when I'm my rookie year, so I really could do what I wanted oh, to do. Minutes. Yeah, so. What was Nobody your. Sub you in, I no, no. I didn't need it. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. What was it like playing, uh, working for Adelman? Adelman was great. Uh, uh, the first game we played in the Alamo Dome, I won't forget it. Uh, he told me before we came out of the, uh, uh, for the game, he said, if you come down and throw a uh, behind the back pass and it goes out of bounds, he said, don't worry about it. Next time, try it with your left hand. Mm. So I'm thinking I'm going to give Coach Adam all this uh, bullshit that I receive off some of these turnovers, bro, because he, he gave me the green light. <laughs> he gave you the okay. Yeah. You always want a coach like that, though, to give you the green light. For sure. Yeah. I had a green light. I was going to do it anyway. I don't know what the coach. <laughs> right? <laughs> the motherfucker said didn't care what color his light was. No. You're going to have to set me down. That's all. Kobe Bryant, you're one and two for you. Y'all lose to the Lakers two years in a row. Yeah. And that's when they three-peat. Yeah. What was Bean like? Bro, killer. I mean, I mean, one of the best to ever do it. You know, it's just, you know, you, you know how it goes. Game plan for folks. You know, we game plan, game plan for him, but the game plan for him is like, 
Why? We're going to have to change every, every possession because he's going to figure it out. Yeah. And going to get it done. And, and teams weren't getting through Shaq and Kobe, bro, back mm -hmm. when they were wanting to play. It's just – and they had, they had great role players. They had a great mm -hmm. coach. And them two. They tell you to win your matchup, though. You know, we go, we, you got to win your matchup. Yeah. I know you was licking your chops, looking at Derek Fish and, and, and uh, Harp and all of them. I know you feel like, man, I'm going to have a great series. Well, you know, on, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, bro, I, I, I never really looked at it like that. <laughs> I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get in the paint and get the ball out to these shooters, bro. But, but they, they had a better chance pissing in a hot sauce bottle than staying in front of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The NBA playoffs are coming down to the final weeks. The action is only picking up from here. Today's video sponsor, DraftKings, is up in the stakes for the final weeks of the playoffs. Time is running out, so make sure you take advantage while you can. All new customers have to do is just bet $5 on any wager, and you'll get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Time is running out, so make sure you take advantage while you can. You heard that right. No matter the outcome of your bet, you're still a winner. Sign up using the promo code SMOKE. Place a $5 bet and enjoy $150 bonus bets instantly. DraftKings has been around for a while, so you know your money is in good hands. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the app now and get into the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use the promo code SMOKE. Bet $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code SMOKE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The NBA season is coming to a close. And that means we only have a few more weeks left of all the smoke, same game, parlay. Every Friday, we're cooking up the new bets using DraftKings Sportsbook. While you still can, make sure you go back and check out the all the smoke, same game parlays. Head over to the app and see our picks and who we're riding with. The action only happens at DraftKings Sportsbook. He said they had a better chance of pissing in a hot sauce bottle. Well, you know, I that had crystal to, hole is like it's real small, shiny, right? yeah. Right, 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 they pissing right. all over that bottle, ain't they? <laughs> hey, hey, but they came back down and threw it to Shaq or give it to Bean, and they beat us, though. Okay, yeah, so we yeah. talked about Kobe. I mean, what it was like, it, it's crazy because you see people that obviously talk about the game now, and Shaq's been so removed from the game, but he was in his prime when you guys were. What was Shaq like? Because obviously Kobe was incredible. But Shaq was a big, agile motherfucker who was strong as an ox. Bro, y'all saw how Scott Pollard used to have his hair and shit like that. Had that man going crazy had to guard that dude, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I think Shaq is the most dominant dude to ever play the game. Facts. He changed the rules, bro. So, Facts. another game plan. So what are you going to do, bro? If you, double team for what? I mean, just going through that, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So... And, and even if they do call a charge, you ain't trying to go down there and double team because you don't want none of, none of this none yeah, of that did, yeah. for a foul. Yeah. It ain't worth it. A concussion ain't worth it. No, nah, bro. It ain't worth it. I was saying about Brad Miller last night. He, I'm thinking, I told my agent, I said, he's so lucky that Jack missed him when he played for oh, the Bulls. Oh, remember that oh, swing he, he wouldn't had? be there today. No. Oh, my goodness, dog. Ooh. <laughs> and he just happened to duck. He didn't even know he was coming. He had no clue. <sighs> we wouldn't know. We wouldn't even know Brad Miller if that was the case. He wouldn't. Damn. It should be down his whole hair be way down here, but anyway. <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. We let it. We we figured that out. So in the early two thousands, as you know, and as we know, and as y'all know, everybody liked to smoke a little bit of track. You know what I mean? Yeah. Indulge a little bit. Well, now the players, thanks to us and a couple other NBA players, they can indulge for free now. What if when we played? We can just leave the game after a hard-fought game, blow one, and relax, and be ready, you know, to play for the next game. What if we could have done that? Um, don't get it twisted. You wasn't the only one doing that. Right. No, trust me, no. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No, no. Y'all might have been worse than me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I ain't never seen nobody do it, so I don't know. Yeah. He was. Uh, no, I think Adam Silver got it right, though. He, he knows what time it is, man. Mm -hmm. this, what's wrong with smoking, you know what I'm saying? It's... It is what it is. It's, it's better than y'all drinking, bro. Yep, yeah. There you go. Tell them, Jack. It's, it's better than pills, too. It's yeah. better than all the pills they try to yeah. shove players right. after games you're to right, recover. You're right. I mean, shoot. I mean, do, I'm, do you, bro. Don't worry about what's going on over here. I yeah. remember the first time I golfed with Jay in Orlando. This is a lie. <laughs> this ain't no lie. 18 holes. He probably smoked like nine little blunts and still was right at par, if not under. It was unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Like every other hole, he had a new one. How does he, he do was, it? But he was still on point, chipping, putting, driving. So I was impressed because I used to smoke a lot of weed, and I'm just like, there's no way I could play golf this high. But it didn't even do nothing to him. Bruh. Bell is so far ahead of Cali. <laughs> on Shout out, Bell. It all comes Shout down to Bell, Bell, baby. Shout out, Bell. That's where it came from. Yeah. Hey, but I, but I, I, I think you should smoke because golf is a hard sport. I think golf is luck to me. Man, I think if you get high enough, if skill. you hit the ball right, just hope it land where it's supposed to land. Bro, I feel you, but it ain't luck. It ain't luck? It's some of them luck. No. Some yeah. of You get lucky bounces. Yeah. Okay, okay, so what about the wind and all that? Y'all can predict you gotta, that? You got to play it. You got to play the win. 2002, uh, traded to the Memphis Grizzlies for Mike Bibby. What was that experience like kind of learning the business of basketball? It, 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 it sucked at first, you know, because I didn't really want to leave Sacramento. But, but shout out to Bibby and the Kings. They got better when I got rid of me as a team, bro, in my eyes. Mm -hmm. What I know about basketball, that team was better when they got rid of me. They had a better chance of beating the Lakers mm. with Bibby, just mm -hmm. the way he played. Only a real one would say that, though. Yes, Most right. guys too much pride, got too much pride to give another uh, give props to another point guard coming after them. That says a lot about you, bro. Yeah. I'll just keep it real, bro. It is what it is. I, you know what I'm saying? Um, but getting to the Grizzlies, it was... I didn't think I could leave a better group here, but the teammates there, bro, no. just went up a level. You guys had a team, too. Yeah, a young pal, we Bonzi. Did. Who I from a team that nobody smoked but you to everybody smoking in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> no, ho, 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 ho. You this, was on the team with him? No, but that's Sacramento. There was, there, there was some people that indulged. Publicly? No, not publicly Okay, back so then. we can't talk about them. No, you can't do it. No one could do it. Yeah, no one was doing yeah. publicly we back then. We talking about the ones we know who was doing it. Yeah. You, okay. And go to Memphis, everybody was in Memphis. <laughs> Who was on that? Who was on that team, though? Oh man, um, my first year there, Lorenzo Wright, rest, rest in peace. Yes, yeah. peace. Uh, one of the best screen setters I ever played with, bro. Pick and pop yeah. king. What? Mm -hmm. The pick and pop king. He catch anything too. Mm -hmm. Couldn't jump over a nickel, but he gonna catch that jump <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, we had Stro Miles Swift could jump Ooh, over the building. God, Stro Miles over the building. What was it like throwing lives to him? He didn't. Did Seen him do some incredible shit. Bro, I used to just try to throw it over the back. Just try to throw it high. Just as to I fuck could, with him. Just to see if he could get it. He got them all. Yeah, got keep them on, all. Keep going down the yeah, road. Hey, go Google Stro Miles Swift, though, if you don't know who he is when we leave. He was incredible. LSU. Yes. Whew. Yeah. Who uh, else was on that team? Uh, I think Bonzi came a year later. For sure. Yeah. Uh, you could tell by his lips. A, yeah. a year later. Yeah. Man. Did you have, uh, was Powell yet there yet? Powell came like like the, uh, maybe the second year I was there. How cold was he, his rookie? He was real cold, but from he, didn't, he didn't really get to run like he should have. Really? I think the Hubie? No, it was Sidney Lowe at first. Uh, how was, when you finally got a chance to, you know, the great Hubie Brown, uh, so much basketball knowledge, he's forgotten more basketball than we'll ever know. What was it like getting a chance to learn and play for him? Honestly, bro, when, when he got the job, I thought, oh, damn, I'm in some trouble, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah, just because he, the way he talked about me when I got drafted, like, this guy's hot garbage, bro. Like, I'm like, bro, you don't even know me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, but when, when he did get the job, we had to talk, bro. It's, I played for a lot of great coaches, bro, but from top to bottom, Hubie Brown was, like, the best. Like, like maybe not he wasn't the best X's and O's. or, or he, he did communicate well. He just, he let players be players, you know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, them little things we had to do sometimes after practice, go mess with the season ticket holders and things like that. You know, Hubie, I love Hubie. He couldn't see out of one eye, couldn't see out of the other ear, bro. So, so look. All off balance, yeah, when, huh? When you talk to Hubie, you had to be like right here, bro. Like right here. Like. Well, no, he said he couldn't see out of this eye or hear yeah, out of this ear. Right, so you had to, like, you had to cock, you had to, you had to cock your head and get right to him. Yeah, yeah, but but he wouldn't make us do no stuff like that. You know, the, the, the organization make yeah, y'all got to go do this for two hours. All he's like, oh no no no, my guys need to go home. They need to take care of their family. They need to pay their bills. Oh, so you didn't have to go do any of the NBA cares. No, nah, bro, he no, wasn't having it. No, nah, he wasn't having none yeah, of that. Yeah, shout out Hubie. None of that. Shout Ooh. out Hubie because that shit was the worst. Hey, that would be a kush up a whiz in the studio. <laughs> the only time we really cared about it, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. We're gonna give y'all some inside game. The only time we cared about doing the NBA care stuff when we was going to the hospital and talk to kids that was sick or underprivileged, you know what I'm saying? People that was going through stuff that they couldn't control. All the other so we, stuff? Yeah, in the hospitals, we cared about that. But all the other shit, grown motherfuckers who were healthy, got jobs and shit, I don't want to go spend no time with you. Or, or, <laughs> spend, or, let me go spend some time with these kids that, that's, that's struggling, right? Yeah. Let, let, let's give them our time instead of people who rock around here got more money than me. Yeah. <laughs> and they put all them balls and, and, and oh, jerseys in, in the locker room you and all that. You got to sign the whole gym. You know what I'm saying? And like, off I mean, that. And they selling this, it. They giving like half these, of them away and selling the other ones. These 55 jerseys, bro. 
Okay, how many of them should you sign in your day? I don't know, bro. Just give me a nickel for each one, bro. I'll be we'd all be straight. <laughs> you said we'd all be straight. Yeah. Uh, any Jerry West stories? Obviously, there's West, West Virginia. He was a GM at the time of the Memphis. Go ahead. You even had a beer, too, because that was Jerry Russ? Just I thought I said Jerry West. You said Russ. So we both been drinking, so it's going to be a good show. Let's go. I think... Okay, with Jerry West, because Jay, Jay, Jerry shook, Russ. Jay shook his head like he knew what I was talking about, so it must, it might be you. <laughs> no, I, I knew Jerry what Russ. Listen, I'm from Bell, bro. I can understand all yes, that. Bell, bro. yeah. <laughs> Anything you tell, it all I got comes you. down to where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry West, nah, the logo. I mean, he's he grew up across the river from Bell, bro. East Bank, West Virginia, our high school. Oh, how damn. Yeah, look. Look, Jerry West grew up across the river from Bell. That's right. Okay. All now, right. Our okay. high school's consolidated about, okay. I don't know, about 30 years ago, right? Okay. Um, but a good story about Jerry West. You know you know me, bro. You play with me. You know mm -hmm. what time it is in the locker room and stuff. When know what time don't go it is. Well. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you're not, yeah. So I'll, I'll get fined or something. Like, I don't know what for what, but Jerry West going to march his little ass down in the locker room. <laughs> e, 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 e. My locker way over there. He got to walk all the way across, right? Hand me, the, hand, me the envelope, hand me the envelope. I just threw the bitch around. Like, I ain't care nothing about that fine. Just keep strong and oppose you. He ain't like that at all, bro. So then I got suspended like five games. That fine hurt. From bro. that? Yeah, that, that one hurt. So you, what was the fine for originally that mm -hmm. you didn't give really give a fuck about? It was probably like 20000 25000 You know what it was, bro? It was, um, it was when I said uh, that we suck. Well, I, uh, I thought everybody thinks the Hawks were the worst team. No, nah, we're the worst team, bro. <laughs> so he fined you for I that. I was on the Hawks when he said that, too. Well, he, he fined me for it. He did fine me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the Hawks when he said that. He did, he did fine me. So, um, but, but what he was mad at, he said he wanted me to apologize to the team. I was like, he wanted me to apologize to the team, him. And maybe Dick Versace, the general manager, or something. I said, cool, let's get it. Let's go in there and do it. We go in there. I'm like, look, y'all. Jerry and Dick, they want me to apologize. <laughs> uh, but, but I don't really think I owe y'all an apology. I, don't, I, definitely, I didn't say nothing about them. I said that we suck, not them. We. So if y'all think I owe y'all an apology, y'all holler at me after this meeting. We good? Yeah, we good? We good. They ain't like that. <laughs> so that's when I got so that was your apology, and you got suspended from that. Yeah, that hurt. Five so, games. That hurt. So, so the higher ups in the office, we all the organization when we winning, when we losing, it's us against them. Well, at that particular time, <laughs> stop, yes, that's how it was. Right. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah. It work like that. Memphis took care of me though. I, I, I give a shout out to Memphis though. I remember. Uh, I want to tell this story because I think I told it one time on. I think it was either Dylan's podcast or JJ Reddick's podcast, and Dylan. you was in the comments and you stamped it. So we're in Orlando together, getting ready for the playoffs, and we had a little fat coach named Stan Van Gundy. They used to the penguin when he got too serious, like the white foam would come in the corner of his mouth and it make you want to wipe your own shit. Like I gotta uh, make sure my shit is fresh. Look, are we wrong for not telling him that it's there though? I think the, I think the, we, we used to call him the penguin every time we played him, dog. Stan. Oh man, he would be talking sometimes like the you just the people the, the shit is so hot that it just foams. It's not spit, it's like hey, look, foam. During timeouts, my, hey, mouth. look, during timeouts he'd be drawing on the board, motherfuckers be like, oh, that shit ain't coming this way. That <laughs> should be bouncing <laughs> off the board in your face. So anyway, so we're in practice getting close to the uh, playoffs. We had a really good team. And I don't know, I don't even remember what it was. It was how did it start? Do you remember how it started? You talking about when I got kicked out of practice? When you threw the ball behind your yeah, back across the court and hit him in his belly. Bro. Tell that story. How did that? I don't remember how it started. I got you. That's why you brought me out here, bro. Yes. That's why, that's why it happened. <laughs> so we watched the whole film session like an hour before practice about, about transition, being organized in transition, right? Um, I don't know if y'all understand that talk, but I ain't got time to tell y'all about that. Um, so, so he was talking about that and... What he wanted the guards to do is, is get everybody organized vocally, right, coming down the court. So I told Matt, Matt, the other team scored. Not, Matt took it out, just flicked it to me, and I told him to come and drag me. That means set a high pick and roll. Just told him, like, come drag me, just like that, right? So we go down there and we do it. <laughs> He's standing like, ah, oh, no, you got to stop. No, what are you doing? I'm like, look. I told him to come drag me. He was like, but, but, but you didn't, you didn't uh, inform the whole team or some shit like that. He's like, you know what, bro? I quit. Slung the ball at him. <laughs> I mean, uh, and I, 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 but hold on. <laughs> Jay Will was on the other Don't let it seem like there was a close. Jay Will was on the far side of the court, and Stan was on the other side, and he threw this ball so fast and so hard behind his back, 
and it hit him in his stomach and knocked the wind. But Stan was one of them serious coaches, so we didn't laugh at shit. But motherfuckers was having a hard time holding up. Like, I tried to hold it, and I think a snot booger hey, look, came out. Like, it was look, one, like you try to hold that shit that. in. But that saying. shit with Jack, that shit was unbelievable, Jack. Now, the, wor- the worst part about it, when I look back on it, I'm glad I did it, kind of, but the worst part is there was a high school team watching us practice. <laughs> shit. And, and, and Stan's daddy was watching us practice. <laughs> so, 2005, you traded to Miami with Antoine Walker and James Post. What was that like going to Miami? It was great, man. Just Closer to, go- to home. Yeah, just to go play with Shaq and D-Wade, you know, like, <clears throat> my best teams that I played on talent-wise was in Sacramento up to that point. And honestly, I'm not so sure that we really thought we could win a championship in those days, like, like seriously, win a championship, like what it really takes, you know, back now looking back, what it really takes, there's no way I don't think we could have won a championship because we won getting through Bean and Shaq won. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I, got to, when I got to Miami, it, was just, it felt different, you know, because it was like, Championship or, or bust, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing else. What year was that for you? That was well, I got traded in 05. No, well, what year in your career was that for you? I got drafted in 98, but I ain't okay. doing no math, bro. Seven, seven years? Yeah, me yeah. neither. <laughs> me neither. Don't yeah, I got me. you, yeah. I got a calculator on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so we got there, and, and that, like I said, that's all it was about. But Stan was our coach yeah. for like two weeks, bro. That was, far, that was earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. Two weeks, and, and I, think, I think Pat Riley knew what time it was. He saw what he had. He was like, Come on, let me hold that, bro. Yeah. And made Stan. So Stan came to Stan, or uh, Pat Riley came down from the front office to coach y'all. That's right. Talk about that team in that season. It was good, man. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a circus, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, everywhere we went, it was. Young D Wade, Shaq's second year. Yeah, and them dudes, you know, I, I don't, I don't really get down like that. Like, you know, go out on the clubs and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's not you. Nah, but them you dudes. You out the way. They got you out there? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Almost? No. 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 <laughs> no. Uh, well, no, one, no, no one was, no one, you know. Everybody was in their own lane. Yeah. They, yeah. Didn't, they didn't get down. They ain't drinking. They ain't blow it down. Nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I knew of anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Glad I didn't go there. But they were still cool. We had a good time, man. It was fun. Glad and I wasn't traded there. the championship was great, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Heat culture. One thing I knew about them, they practice hard. They tape for practice and all that. And I almost got traded there. I wasn't big enough to control what to say, well, I don't, you can't trade me. I wasn't so, but I'm glad they didn't. How did you feel being in that culture coming from Sacramento where everything was player, chill, to go out there where it was drill sergeant? Well, like I said, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that, so it was straight for me. And honestly, you'd have been straight too, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have been straight. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You can do what you want to do, but when it comes 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock time to get on the floor, you, if you do what you do. I mean, come on, bro. We had GP. We had Posey. We had, we had these dudes. One timeout, Pat Riley. We in a timeout. Pat Riley was like, we're down by five or six, something like that. Pat Riley, you know, he pulls the chair in the huddle. He's like, sets down, finna draw the play. He's like, he says, fuck. Smells like a goddamn brewery in here. <laughs> Shit. Got up and went to the locker room and left us for the last uh, fourth quarter, bro. Didn't coach us the rest of the time. Did y'all win? Yeah, we won. <laughs> yeah, we got a story like that. We got a Miami story just like that. We just didn't, we, we, we weren't there, but yeah. What you mean we wasn't there? No, I'm saying we didn't live in Miami, so we had to enjoy the, that night, Miami night. Yeah, and our coach told us the same thing when he smelled us, but he just told us to get back on the bus and make sure we come back to the game tonight. Because we showed up. We all got back to the hotel at 7, 8. Shoot around was at 9. With the same we were clothes, in Miami, bro. With the same clothes South- we had on the night before from the Orlando play- game and plane trip, yeah. we just we saw, this, we saw the sun come up. Bruh. We're going to practice the next day in the same clothes we wore to the Orlando game the night before. that we were in the club with, right? Yeah. We show up to shoot around. Coach, like, bring it in to give us the game plan. He smells Hold all on. of us. First of all, normally, like, during shoot-around, you, some people come dressed. Some people get dressed right We're there. all on the sideline. Everybody's Nobody some, shooting. Some motherfuckers asleep. We're all, everyone just has their clothes on from the night before. Like, normally, at least one person shooting. Not one person was on the floor shooting. Nobody was shooting. Don Nelson calls everybody in. He's like, so, guys, we're going to. You know what? Everybody back on the bus, and we better win by 30. Did. And best believe we all were hungover and we beat the shit out of Miami by 30. Yeah. <laughs> Good, story. Good story. On and off the court. On and, and off the court. court. Yes. Talk to us about how good Dwayne Wade was. I don't even know where to start, bro. Like, he's like, I think he's like the third best two guard ever, bro. So MJ, Kobe, D Wade. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got a chance to know him post career, but I mean, he was just a motherfucker. D Way was the one dude. Remember, you're always supposed to push him to the screen, but he would drag the screen and go baseline. Oh, every and time, spin bro. And then dunk. He can get through cracks and crevices like no other, bro. Right. Yeah. Strong. He, agile. Su- he sweat more than any human I ever he met in my sweat? life. Sweat. <laughs> sweat, bro. He changed. He changed uh, jersey every third time out, man. <laughs> <laughs> every third. Just too much. Yeah. Oh, Great dude, shit. though. Great, Great dude. dude. Mm-hmm. Booby, I call him Booby from uh, what's the movie? Uh, uh, Friday night. Friday night lights. Yeah, I used to tell Pat Riley, "You want to win, bitch? You better put Booby back in." <laughs> <laughs> Let Booby spin, coach. <laughs> oh shit! I know you weren't really someone that stepped out, but did you ever get a chance to go to any of Zoe's midsummer groove or summer grooves? I went to one after my rookie year. Okay, talk to us. Um, it was straight. You know, I didn't. I didn't really know what to expect. I'm a shy dude, bro. Mm-hmm. Until, I mean, yeah, it might right. not seem like it, but but I mean, I am until you get to sit on the porch with me or something like that. Right. But, but for real, I am shy. And doing something like that was the first time I ever played in like a all-star game. You know what I mean? So it was like, and being around all these dudes that I was around, like I grew up watching, and I'm like, wow, like, bro, I can actually touch these dudes or, or give them that or whatever. But I was just, I was more in all of that than, than hooping. I feel it. I could dig it. Uh, 2010 is when you and I crossed paths uh, on the same team. Man, put a penguin. With Stan. Uh, that was a talented team. I mean, I don't think Dwight Howard gets enough respect. Talk about how good, healthy, young Dwight Howard was when we had him in Orlando. I can too. Yeah. Y'all swept the shit out of us. Oh, yeah, we beat the shit out of y'all. Oh, yeah, you Bruh, yeah. Dwight Howard, there's not too many guys that I've seen yeah. play. Better than Dwight Howard, bro. What he Facts. brought to the, to the table, like, what he did, man, is like, you're not going to see another Dwight Howard. No. Not, no, you're not. And it's crazy because, obviously, when he came to the Lakers, he had just had back surgery, and he came back from back surgery. He came back from, like, a year recovery in, like, four or five months. And, and fuck to me. I, and I was telling him along the way, like, bro, don't come out here and play. He's like, no, I'm with Kobe. I need to be out here and playing. I'm like, bro, let your back heal. But Orlando, Dwight Howard... I've never seen anything like him. Me neither. Like, and, and them Orlando teams that we played, that might have been the best team from top to bottom that I've ever we been. Were deep. We, were, yeah, we, we were. were too deep in every single position. We were. Can I speak on it? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah we so we the played them in the first round of the playoffs, Swept right? <laughs> Jameel Nelson, Matt, J. Will, Vince Carter, uh, Dwight. Dwight Howard, the whole nine, right? So Char Jameer Lewis Nelson. Char Lewis. Jameer Nelson had 18 points in the first quarter of the first three games in the playoffs. And we get swept. Bro, I mean, God bless, God bless Raymond Felton, bro. But oh, yeah, he you gave, go look at Jameer Nelson. And he was out the league a year or two after that. Jameer Nelson against Raymond Felton? It, was, it, was, it wasn't I think, fair. I think we swept the Hawks right after that. Yeah, and then by, we might have got most. swept by the Celtics. We almost – but do you remember, though, why? Remember going into – Stan got scary. Man, we beat the, uh, the Celtics. This, the so this is one. the year, 2010, that the Celtics played the Every Lakers again. And – the Celtics had beat the Lakers in 08. Kobe gets his revenge, beats Orlando. But we're supposed to play the Lakers because that was the year I ball faked in Kobe and we yeah. was about to fight in that game. Yeah. And we were supposed to beat. So we're, we're, we're making NBA history. 8-0 in the playoffs. Beat them by like 22 Damn, a game. we discussed that already. Beat the Hawks the next <laughs> round by like 25 or 26 a game. So we're 8-0. Nobody is fucking with us. We think we're about to get a championship. We're going to the Boston Celtics. This is KG. This is that team, Ray Allen, them boys. But we had beat them. Perk, Perk, we had Big beat them. Perk guarded Dwight Howard one on one. That yeah, hurt us well, too. yeah, very well. They yeah, had the double. Nine. So we're up. So we we had beat them two out of three times this season. We go into that that uh, the Eastern Conference Finals and stands like you know we we've, we've done well and we're the number one offensive team across the board. We've done well, but we need to change it up because this is a really good team. Remember, we like changed our whole offensive set and they beat us the first three games. We came back and won two, and then we changed it. Stan. The penguin. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it was just disappointing because hey. that was a really we had a really good team. We did. And a shout really out, good shout team. out to the penguin. He was a hell of a coach. Great, coach. great team. Hell no, of a he's coach. a great coach. No, great y'all had X a great team. O's. Y'all should have won a championship. Hell great of a coach. X and O's. Great X and O's. Big guy. Perk. Big Perk shut that shit down, bro. Just messed our offense yeah, up. Yeah, Perk guarded Dwight one. Everyone else had a uh, double Dwight. But Perk KG guarded didn't one leave Rashard Lewis never. I had Vince Carter too. Vince Carter, yeah. That was Vince nice. Carter, the greatest dunker ever. Ever. There will never be another one better. Another Florida mm-hmm. boy. That's right. Mm-hmm. Playing the Not trump- far from Bell. Playing the trombone. Right. He was a band member Drum too, major boy. Yeah. 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 He was a drum major. He, he, he was that now. I think he, can, I think he could dunk with a, with a tuba around his neck. 
<laughs> You're a hoe. Because <laughs> they could dunk with a tuba. But he used to just do shit like pull up left handed from half court like it was nothing. I never like, seen anybody do it. I've never seen right. he, he could sit on the baseline down there at the other end of the court on, on, his it, ass. on his ass and throw the basketball and hit the backboard as many times as you hey, wanted. Not to. a harmonica, not oh, a saxophone, but a tuba. Shiny gold one, tuba. <laughs> <laughs> so you retired in 2011, 12 seasons. Uh, when you look back now, because we were talking off air. You're still traveling the world. You're doing fantasy camps. You're going to the other countries. You come back here. You know, you did the pregame show yesterday, and you said you looked down from your balcony and saw all the 55s. You thought the Kings had signed a new player. That's you. <laughs> when you look back on kind of your historical significance in this game and how much you're still loved, like, what does that mean to you? I know you're not a person to ever talk about yourself or boast about yourself, but what does that mean to you that you really left a, uh, an impression on a lot of people's minds? Man, it's crazy that this little boy from Bell. From Bell. The, you know what I'm saying? It's shout out Bell. But 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 that is a testament to the fans. You know what I'm saying? They they know what time it is. They're real too. You know, so it ain't like a lot of a lot of guys. You know, y'all been trading and shit like that. You go to this team, you got a different jersey. You go to this team. You know what I'm saying? I think to the day I die, when I come back here, it's gonna be 55s, bro. Same so facts. I appreciate that for sure. Facts. Yeah. All right, here we go. Quick hitters. First thing to come to mind. Let us know. Like, how quick does it got to be, though? These are the how, questions you got to worry about. How, like, yeah, how, however fast you want it to be. Like a hiccup? Yeah, quick as a hiccup. That's quick. That's quick. You plus four on the blacktop, who you bringing? You might have to squab, you might got to dodge bullets, but you're on the blacktop. Who, what four players you bringing with you uh, to win the game on the blacktop? Well, shit, if I know I got to dodge bullets, um, like how, it's a possibility. It ain't always, guaranteed. It always it's is. It's just a possibility. I'm, th I'm hoping... That, White chocolates got me this far. They ain't going to try to shoot me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you know you definitely got a pass. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Your pass is gold. Oh, man, I'm taking some shooters now. I'm taking – I got to take Curry. I got to take – I ain't thinking about no defense. Ooh. Fuck that. It's outside. Nah. We're going to outscore y'all. Yeah. The defense don't win championships. Not on blacktop. Defense don't win championships. No word, Stack. In the league, it do. I don't think so. It helps. Okay, it, it helps. helps. You still got to score it the helps. ball, though. Correct. You taking five Ben Wallace, that defense, you taking five AIs. That's, I'm, just that. I, I, I'm just saying, if AI is against Ben Wallace, I might take Ben Wallace. Let me tell you why. Tell me. Because there's a lot of aspects in the game. It's rebounding. It's physicality. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. You got to get to the rim first. But you got to be able to Here dribble. You got to be able go. to have some touch. Yeah, you you go. Go. yeah you're right. You sure right. Be no rebounding. I've been drinking. Don't ask me. And AI is not going to miss. It's going to be layups. And no going to be rebounding there. And, no, and he's going to cross everybody over. It's just, yeah, Ben Wallace. Yeah, you're okay, right. Okay, back to the question. I'm taking Curry. Durant, I'm taking LeBron James. Is this past or current? The Kane, K A N G. Oh, I'm, take, I'm, take, I'm, taking, I'm taking all current players. I'm thinking all these, all these older players were great, but to me, it's just it's, it's the game's evolved. I think it's hard to compare these players to. They were all great in their own way, but like Oscar Robinson is one of the greatest ever, correct? Yeah, yeah. He can't play today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So these guys uh, are more talented, but they also soft. Never mind. My bad. Well, that's just. You know, all right, that's what it is. That's just how the league is, though. I think you know what I'm saying. That's just how the league is trending. But anyway, I would never take a night off. I'm trying to hoop every day. Right. Thanks. You come uh, from a different cloth. I'm from Bell. They, they they don't produce they they don't produce your cloth no more. They stopped making that when you left. Just Maybe. him and Randy. Yeah. Uh, I got KD. I got Steph. I got LeBron. And uh. I'm going Kevin Garnett. Oh, the ticket. The ticket. Church. Where did the name White Chocolate come from? Uh, I think that came from uh, some lady in the PR department here in the, with the Kings organization. Oh, she started it. Yeah, I think. And I don't, I don't really know the answer. That's what I've been telling everybody since you've been asking. Okay. So I don't. Shout out the lady in the front office. Yeah, yeah. Whatever her name is. Yeah, I don't remember her name anyway. But, okay. But that's what it is. The, but it's stuck. No, yeah, How were you with the name, though, when you first got it? I didn't care, bro. You wasn't but, tripping. No, I didn't care. I'm sure there were some people in Bell that probably didn't like it, but that's what it is. <laughs> so when you heard it, what you think so, it meant? So, so, uh, so what side I was already, huh? So the people in Bell who didn't like it, what side of the uh, school were they on? The left or right side? No, nah, they was over there on the right, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What did hey. you think though? Like when when they said called you white chocolate, what what's the definition you got from it? Bro, I didn't I didn't really care because <clears throat> once you get on the on the court, bro, black, white, purple, pink, it, it don't, don't matter. matter. If you can hoop, you can hoop. Mm -hmm. you know but saying? you gotta love that the niggas loved you though. Um, 
You know as a hooper, as a hooper, to keep it real though, as a hooper, when the blacks fuck with you, especially it's tough for white dudes yeah, to get, come get on that now. love. You got, you got to know that's the extra oomph. It I is. You get a little oomph when the niggas fuck with you, dog. It is. You know, to be honest with you, bros, bros recognize me more than white folks out in in the community yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know I have. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I, I take pride in saying I know you, not you know, not only because I'm a fan, because what you did for the game, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You brought something to the game. You inspired a lot of people, your color and my color. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, like, one thing about our show, we here to give you your flowers. We are fans as well, bro. bro you know what I'm saying? It. So if you've, done, you've done a lot for both cultures. Facts. Both cultures. Facts. I appreciate that. Top five handles in the history of the NBA. You better be one of them. Any specific order? No. Just, okay. just throw them out there. Now y'all see why we the dopest show. Kyrie the best. Okay. To me. Kyrie. Uh, Jamal Crawford. Ooh. I played uh, with Jamal. Chris Paul. Yes. Uh, mm. Jason Williams. Yeah, you got to throw bubs in there. You know, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> Shit. Ain't too, many people, ain't, ain't too many people pulled out and had the confidence to pull out what you pulled out in the game, dog. See, I, I think that's the difference in, like, me and a lot of these kids now, they ain't, they ain't got the balls to, yeah. just, just to try it. Yeah. But LaMelo Ball, he's got the balls to try it. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, but I, he just... He I young right now. He's he, still young. He didn't practice everything he does. Everything you seen me do, bro. You just practice. I done practiced that jump like thousands of times. Mm -hmm. So I knew I, I knew I could do it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But Lamelo Ball, these guys are so good. Maybe they ain't got to practice like that. I had to practice, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's I, what time it was. So you gave us three. Ah oh, man, I only gave you three. Yeah. Chris Paul. Yep, that was the third one you gave us. I'm not putting myself in there, dog. Oh. Come on, bro. I'm just not. That's crazy. Allen Iverson. To me, to me. Oh, easy. Oh, 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 no, I wouldn't put Allen Iverson in there with the handle joint. Handle, yeah. He was just, he was just so fast, and, and his first step, he didn't really need nothing but that crossover. So, yeah. you know, when I when I got caught up on AI, I just tried to back up and just pray he shot the bitch and missed it. But if he made it, what you want me to do? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Isaiah Thomas, that's a good one, too. Yeah. That's four. <sighs> one more spot for you. Nah. That last spot. They will. It ain't not. That uh, last spot. It ain't no Jay Will, dog. I'm gonna say it, Jay Will. All right. That, that, next question. All right. Next question. It. Yeah, we'll go with that. This is a good question right here, though. If anyone did a soundtrack to your game and your life, who, what rapper would it be? Man, it's got to be Slim Shady. Ooh. <laughs> I am. I am. I, hey, that's. It's only right. It's only right. It's only, it's only right. It's only right, bro. That make hey, that's a, that makes so much fucking sense. If you think about it, the goat. The, yeah, yeah. You right, dog. You right. You right. You right. You right. Next question, Matt. He killed that one. You killed that one. No, you killed that one, dog. And that ain't that ain't just because I'm from Bell either, nah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> ain't got shit to do with Bell. <laughs> Y'all got a few similarities. Uh, ain't got shit to do with Bell. Favorite teammate over your 12 year career. That's a tough question, man. It's like. I know it sounds cliche, but I was I was I feel like I'm one of the luckiest dudes to ever play in the league because every team I went to, all 15 of us got got down, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like that's dope. That's rare know, too. Yeah, we you know when we land in the city, we go to the hotel. You know, Dwight Howard and them used to pay for us to go shopping and shit at Louis and all that. Him and Rashard Lewis take turns. The, they, them the hundred million dollar boys, bro. They paying. Like, oh, look, we going shopping in 15 minutes. Whoever want to go, go get whatever you want. You I know? felt like a little groupie, bro. I did too. I didn't want to get like like maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'll give me a toiletry bag or something. Yeah. Fuck, or maybe a belt. That's right. I ain't tripping. Yeah, bag. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but nah, everywhere I went, bro, I had some, I asked dope, dope teammates, bro. He got a couple extra passes that night, huh? A couple extra assists that night after he took his shopping, up. Look, I'm throwing a Dwight Howard every time he wanted, dog. <laughs> with the with or without the shopping sprees. Hey, look, because you know what? I ain't playing no D. He blocking all that shit, yeah, right? He, For he real. got your back at all times. Yeah. What's your favorite white chocolate highlight or moment? Mmm, that's tough. For me, because let me give you mine. He don't like to talk about himself, though. I'm gonna so. give you mine, and it's my homie, my big homie. For what you did to Gary Payton. Ooh. Come on, y'all. And that's back that, when that was hey. crazy. That was crazy. But that's back when J. Will had to do this shit to his hair too. And he, he was the to, glove then. He, he was the, the glove then. Wipe this shit to the side, and, and hey, he turned it to the mitten. The quick, <laughs> but. But what people don't realize, he was talking so much shit in that game prior to that, bro. But I had my, like he was scared for a second. I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't know if I belong out here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this is Gary Payton. Like, that's Gary Payton. Like, I don't, 
I don't realize, they don't realize who Gary Payton is. You know? Oof. Yeah. What? The glove. Man. But I, I, hit, I hit one from like 30 feet to play before that. That's what set it all up. So he had to come out. And I don't care who you are. If I'm coming at you full speed, you got hard. No chance. Better chance of pissing in a hot sauce bottle. That's right. Yeah. I got right. you, Buzz. Right. I got you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, but for the players that seen that move, oh, we was like, oh, he did, JG, he did GP like that. It's over now. Everybody's scared now. But I think what made, if he wouldn't have tried to trip me, it wouldn't have been as bad as it was, yeah. I don't think. But he gave you your props. He did. He yeah. gave you your props, too. He, he ain't yeah. say nothing else to me the rest of the game. I promise no, you. No, but I'm saying, like, coming down the court, he, he yeah. looking at you like, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Like, you ain't supposed to do that, right? You ain't supposed to do that to me. No, 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 no. All right. I'm going to give you a list of teammates. Just give me one word to describe them. C-Web. Awesome. Doug Christie. Fantastic. Matt Barnes. Dope. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> My God. My God. <laughs> D-Wade. Sweaty. <laughs> Oh, shit. Shaq. Dominant. Yes. Pow. Oh, man. What was Buddy's name from Sanford and Son? Julio. Stroll Miles Swift called Buddy Julio. Remember Julio? <laughs> <laughs> they had the goat, bro. <laughs> they had the goat. Hey, look. Why y'all out there? Pull up Julio from Sanford stayed, and Son. He, he stayed next door. Yeah. He stayed next door, and, and, and he came across to the San, he was in his, the, his goat was in the San Jose yard. Pull up Julio and Pal Gasol side by side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. Oh, shit. <laughs> I know the exact episode, too, man. <laughs> I swear I do. Five dinner guests, dead or alive. Michael, this, is our best, this is our best question on our show. It is? Yes. So are you telling me you want me to be like, yes. think about it? Think Who about the fuck it. you want at your table? No. Man. Anybody in the whole world? Ever. Ever invented. Dead or alive. I mean, there's, there's no way that I'm going to be able to give you five without going in the car, driving somewhere and saying, damn, I should have named them. But it's okay. Um, it's going there. That, that happens. Yeah, I mean, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Goat. Larry Bird. Mm. Goat. Uh, man. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Goat. Ooh, good call. Uh, Got a whole bunch of goats. You'll need some lettuce. I'm finna get a cramp in my hamstring, what I'm finna get. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Uh, Stretch that thing out, uh, uh, Man. Hydrate. That's, I don't, that's a tough question for me. Last one. You got one more. You yeah. name four good ones. <laughs> he said he yeah, he said somebody from Bell. Nah, this is, this is me and Randy there, bro. He from down the other side, so he ain't not from Bell. Man. Uh, I don't know. My dad. How about my dad, bro? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Last and final question. If you could see anybody on our show, who would it be? But. But you have to help us get your answer on the show. So it's got to be someone you know and fuck on with. On the show. The show. I don't know. I think that's more of a question for the people, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for just the for people. Nah, but hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Everybody got the connections you, you got. So think about the friends you got and then the connections. Then come back to the answer. Because right, you know a lot of motherfuckers. And we ain't had Randy Mouse on here. Oh, did I say Randy? Did I say Randy? I didn't say Randy. My bad. I didn't mean to say that. My bad. It must be the kittens. The kittens. You had C-Web, right? Yeah. We had C-Web. A great show with C-Web. Mm -hmm. Shout out to C-Web. Man, yeah, I mean, Moss would be good. Moss and we also good. got our All the Smoke Cannabis partner with C-Well, right? Yep. And we Players do. Only. And we also got Cookies. Light, and we also got pre-roll Light the Beams, King's Beams in yeah, here, we got, too. We're going to light the beams after this. Yeah. Yeah, you better light something. We got a lot of beams back here. We got like 300 of them bitches back here. We yeah, get so. We need to get toasted. Pussy. Let's go. Well, man, I think that's it. Jay, I appreciate he you, man. the question? Yeah, he said Randy Moss. No, he didn't say, I said Randy Moss. He said Randy would be a good okay, one. Okay, so that means you're going to help us get him on the show. As soon as we get off here, I'll be texting. Hey, let me tell y'all, because a lot of our guests be whooping. Yeah, a lot of our guests said a lot of shit, they be Jay. whooping. So guests, if you watching this, y'all cap, ball cap, <laughs> Colin cap, all type of cap. Y'all cap. cap it. 
Well, man, we appreciate everybody coming out tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Cheers. Jay's got to get out of here and catch a flight, so he's going to get up out of here. But, man, we want to thank everyone for coming out. Love Me you, and Jack bro. are going to hang around for a little bit, uh, mingle, smoke, chill out. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Urban Roots. Come on, Rob, say something. This, this is our man right here. We have the owner here. Got to have him say something. Black we, owner. Yeah, black owner. We appreciate you having us here, man. We could have. There's a lot of, of places year, we could have been. Last year. There's a lot of places we could have been, but for you to open your doors to us, for all the people to come out and support you, but we appreciate you having us, so you have to say something. Yo, I appreciate y'all. Listen, y'all have a show about giving out flowers, but you know what? I want to give y'all y'all flowers. This is amazing what y'all doing. Honestly, it's amazing. And I'm just going to tell you, one of, you know, one of my core values is self-care. And every morning I wake up 5, 5.30, and I'm on the bike, and you know what I'm listening to? Y'all shit. Bro, I'm listening to y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? My guy, Jelani, y'all put in so much hard work, the whole crew. I appreciate everything you do. You know what? You guys bring out a different energy in all your guests that nobody else can do. And I just want to deeply say that's why I think everybody's here, because we all feel the same way. And I ain't going to lie, man, I kind of feel like a fanboy right now. You know what I'm saying? Because this is my shit. That's what I listen to every day, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let the, hey, yeah, just let the love, moment, let the moment take listen. you. You good. So, but, but listen, my gift to y'all from your flowers, y'all ain't never going to pay for another beverage at any of my places Ooh. forever, bro. Don't tell Jack that. Except yeah. the roots, Matt, because yeah, I know yeah, you right. might get me on Jack, that one. Jack might not go home. You tell him that. <laughs> Jack, Yo, Jack might move real. the sack. Jay, my guy. Oh, Thanks yeah. for having us, bro. Well, again, thank you guys, everybody, for coming out. Give what? Give Jay Will a round of applause, Thanks, please. Appreciate it. When you bundle Paramount Plus with Showtime, things can get a little wild. We live in a fast world. What a shot! Ah, hell yeah! Stream it all in one place. Bundle Paramount Plus with Showtime.